Hi guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. And so I have the solution in place that I'm going to do for my power setup. So I said I wasn't going to maybe do it on screen, but I think I am because this is... I mean, this is not base building, this is actually kind of some interesting shit. Uh, an interesting conundrum. So let me, let me go over what the problem here is again, just in case you guys are, whatever, not familiar with my little issue here. So I started with a four nuclear reactor setup. I thought it would be enough because I played Death World before. I, I won it with three. Fortunately, I have all these highways here. Uh, we need the highways. It has a bunch of lasers. And the idle power draw is through the roof. We also have a lot of power draw from assembly machines and th things like that. Um, to facilitate additional power, uh, we're going to need to uh, upgrade our reactor design. So, yeah, right now it's just barely enough. Uh, I have these auxiliary steam engines on standby, things like that. Uh, so, yeah, we need to we need to upgrade the amount of reactors we have. Um, so, I'm going to go... Th this is not something that's... Reactors are not exact science, I'm sorry. But, like, it's just, like, um, we need eight of them, I think, at least. I think eight's a good number, uh, so we need to double this. And it's not a matter of copying and pasting this, because if you copy and paste, it's 480 times 2, it's like 600, so 960 megawatts. Uh, if you copy and paste, if you don't copy and paste, and you actually use the reactor adjacency neighbor bonuses, you get 100, uh, sorry, 1,120 uh, megawatts of power. Uh, so like 1.1 gigawatts. So you lose a bit of power if you copy and paste setups like this. It's just the kind of the way it works because of neighbor bonuses. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Alright, so the ideal case is to hook in the reactors here um, and like, you know, and, and once they're hooked up and then you're all good and th things like that. Uh, then, then you just put in more steam turbines. But the thing is, I've actually laid this out in a pretty bad manner in the fact that I did not make this expendable at all. I just kind of thought that I would only need the four. And that was a bad assumption to make. So, I've been considering some solutions. A lot of the stuff I've done is like band-aid. Like, I, I, I efficiency moduled my ovens and things like that. Not the best ideas. Uh, because, as I said, the, the, every time I go out somewhere like this, it's, it's like another 50 gigawatts or something every time or whatever. So, we need to be able to kind of like... I just need to be able to double it because I think I think we get to the point where we need that. So what have I done, or what am I going to do? So this is going to be an interesting thing. So we are going to upgrade the nuclear reactors while they are still running. Bam! Didn't expect that, did you? Fucking Chernobyl documentary in fucking Factorio LP. When you started up this morning and with your bacon and eggs, you didn't think you'd be getting this. So. We yes, we are going to attempt to upgrade this while the reactors are running very fast because our entire base runs upon these reactors, so we can't actually suffer that much downtime. So kind of a problem, but I have I have the solution for this. I have the solution for this. So what we're gonna do, so I have what we need here, which is the difference in the designs. Uh, so we need 83, sorry, 89 more steam turbines. Four more reactors, 64 more heat exchangers, and whatever amount of heat pipes I need to connect it all. Uh, this is going to need to run off of 10 offshore pumps, uh, which I didn't make, but we can make now. I don't know how many I have right now. We'll just make a bunch. So basically five on each side. Uh, five, uh, that's, that's kind of just how this is going to work. Um, yeah, so we fucking lost. First off, I want to mention, um, this is going to be quite, quite the problem, but we can do this. Luckily with bots, so we shouldn't cause another Chernobyl because uh, the Russians didn't have bots back then. I guess they have bots now, but they didn't have bots back then. Um, so let's get started with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the reactor set up here. And you're wondering why I'm making it here instead of like up there. Well, that's because I'm going to copy and paste this over here. And hopefully it will just kind of work when I, when I deconstruct this and construct it back up. And then we can just do the other side. So as long as I get one side going really, really fast, it should be okay. Um, so on each side, there needs to be... Shit, where's my calculator? Fucking hell. So on each side, I need to put down... 56 heat exchangers. Um, and that means like... Uh, shit, that's like 11 per side? Fucking hell. I don't know, man. 56 heat exchangers, so... 
Like I said, this is not going to be an exact science, but I'm going to make this a little bit better. Because that's what I do. Alright, so we're going to just do something like this for now. There's our reactors. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to necessarily spin them all up all the time, but, you know, for the most part they should be up. Um, so we're going to actually make a new system regarding how we're going to deal with reactors getting their fuel. It's going to work something like this instead. Actually, it should be more in the middle. Uh, actually, it should go like that. Alright, so something like this. So they're going to take it off the same belt. We're going to sushi belt it and all that kind of jazz. Um, I, I literally have no idea how we're going to handle this, by the way. I, I figure this is still the best way, this kind of system is the best way of doing this. But yeah, we need 56 heat exchangers, so, uh, yeah. Kind of probably looks something like this. I, I, I don't know, man. So, but I, I like this system a little bit better already, so we'll, we'll, we'll see, so... Uh, a couple problems. First off, I have this set up here. I'd would, I would prefer to expand it out to the to the left as much as possible. Um, I, I just I, maybe not because maybe I should just expand it upward. I don't know, man. Okay, so I, I think the I think the plan is maybe just to have it go up. This is why I'm kind of emptying out these uh, uh, boxes into here while this is, we're doing this. Whoa! Apparently. Apparently, I just realized something. I have it going really slow. So, there's actually no reason for that to be so slow. Uh, so, I'm just trying to empty this out as soon as possible. Hey, are you guys for real? There you go, now he'll have enough. And we can also just give them more. We just do something like this setup. That's just filling up these chests. So we're trying we're just trying to get rid of it, put it somewhere else. So I figure I'll maybe want to build it upward. I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided this setup yet. Um this is what we're trying to construct right now. Um so yeah, we need fifty six heat exchangers. Um I don't know how many to do per row, to be honest, uh, but it would be probably beneficial to, yeah, see if, I, okay, so here's the thing, if I build it upward like this, where the steam kind of goes up, uh, that might be probably significantly better than what I currently have planned, but I, I, I don't know how the heat transfer works necessarily, but we definitely need a lot of, like steam pipes and shit, like this is probably maybe a good idea, like to do something like this. How many is this right now? So one of the things we could do actually is we can actually use a blueprint or blueprint counter to count things like this thing. Um, so that's 16 right now. Uh, but yeah, as a, like I said, we need 56. Or sorry, was it 56? Shit. Sorry, I did some other math in my calculator here. Yeah, it is 56. Okay. Um, so I want to have plenty of space for the steam to come up from. So, uh, 99 problems, guys. I am heavily considering this right now. I don't see. Here's the thing. I don't know if the heat pipes care about things like this. I mean. The law of physics tells me that they probably should, but, or sorry, maybe not, maybe not the laws of physics. Because I could just do this. And build some more around this. And then you have like the water come in through here. Yeah, you do something like that. Water comes through this side. Oh my god, this is the biggest we lost situation I've ever faced. I don't know. 
I'm gonna take some inspiration from the internet, one sec. Alright, I think I got it now. Um... I, I'm not too sure... ...on how to necessarily... ...connect everything perfectly, but you know what? Hopefully this will be okay. Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. So this is uh sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we need we need to it to be seven. I think seven's the magic the magic number for this. Alright, so that seems pretty okay. Uh yeah, we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna make sure there's an abundance. Of, oops. I, I'm gonna make sure that there's, if we're double layering the pipes just to make sure there's no flow issues, which I'm, which is actually one of my only concerns. Alright, so how many does this count as right now? How many heat pipes do I have? I need more of those. So I was kind of making them in the corner here before, and we're gonna just continue that process right now, actually. I only made like one stack. Because we probably uh, don't want to have a shortage of heat pipes while we're connecting this stuff. Um, so yeah, so these, don't worry about these guys too much. Uh, I mean, we can go put in power poles, I think, right now. Yeah. It's very easy how these hook in, actually. So those are not the problem. We can even put fucking lights in right now. There you go. You know, just, just to, you know, taking beauty into account early on. Uh, this is, uh, the Mike Lad Factoria way. We're also gonna need more pipes, I think. So how many does this count as in, with respect to... So this is currently 28 heat exchangers. Uh, like I said, we need to bring it up to 54. Now, the problem is the further you get away, the less effective the uh, heat pipes become. So uh, I need to actually see what the ratio is for that. Uh, if there is a ratio for that, that I should be aware of. This is now 42 heat exchangers. 56 is a magic number, right? I think that's 56. That is 49. How's that 49? Yeah, actually, yeah, this is almost, this is basically the perfect amount. I actually ran out of heat pipes. Uh, but this should be the amount that we need now. All right, before I commit to this, I need to see if uh, the dist how much the distance matters with heat pipes. All right, so I've pretty much determined that, um, so there is a bit of heat loss with pipes, uh, and there's nothing I can do. Uh, with this sort of setup, it just, it's so complicated that I'm gonna need it. So, take that as you will. Um, I just, yeah, that's just kind of how it works. So, uh, we're gonna have to so if even even my setup here So the way it works is like because there's no way to pump overheat yet If you actually look at the side there see there's the reactors at about uh, almost a thousand degrees And then the pipes go nine. Oh, it's losing losing degrees. Oh, 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 oh It's losing it's losing potential heat transfer comma deal. It's ah, whatever. It's okay It's okay as long as we have close to our goal. I think we're, I think I think it's fine. Now, I'm not sure if this is also the play, which is to make a shit ton of pipes, but, you know, um, that's kind of how we're going to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's the play. So, we're going to do this. Um, just trying to see... I don't know, man. This is weird. Okay, actually, this this doesn't actually need need to be like this close then. All right, so actually, is it? yeah, because the water's gonna come from the bottom because the water, the water, the lake happens to be down there, which is why the other uh, the other thing that we have to keep in mind with this run is um, there is no other water anywhere in this map. Uh, we just have to kind of deal with this the way it is. So. Sorry, I keep alt-tabbing just to like 
see if there's possibly anything I can do here, but I don't think there is. So, uh, uh, as you know, there's no such thing as underground heat pipes either, so, um, or maybe you don't know that, but I'll tell you now there's no such thing as underground heat pipes. So we're going to do something like this. Luckily, this is going to be very easy to copy and paste over, but um, still, still kind of annoying. Not going to lie. All right. Then we're going to have, uh, how am I going to, uh, I guess I can just pipe this underground here. You know, it's kind of funny because nuclear is one of those things that kind of irritates me. In, in, in a way, because it's one of the only things that you can't actually make 100% efficient necessarily. Now here's the thing, we need we need five, uh, we, we need five, uh, okay, one second, where's my ratio list? Nuclear ratios. So, so it needs 10 pumps in total, which means there needs to be five pumps for this entire thing. One, two, three, four. Well, that doesn't quite line up, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, so we can make these eight big. And then it'd be seven rows. But it's annoying anyways. I, I, I don't know how to perfectly line this up with the water. Like, I'll just make like one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll just make six in every area. So that way we, we're absolutely sure that nothing will run out of any water. So we're just gonna have like an, an, like one on this side, two in the middle, two in the middle, then one on this side. And then hopefully that the, the ones that are kind of in the middle will equalize it, I'm hoping. Cause I, I, like, I like even numbers, I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna do something like this and the steam will be shared. So how many steam turbines do we need? Uh, let me bring up my list again. So in total, the setup is gonna use 193. Um, so it's like 96 per area here. So by the way, I'm going to start bringing in the nuclear stuff from the bottom because of just the way this works. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know, man. Steam is very strange. Do I need it? I'm just going to make a double pipe too. You know, I, I just, I, I don't want to not have enough flow and then have to rebuild all this crap, you know? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So your nuclear reactor, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um. Huh. Well, I, I'm, I guess I'm gonna use um, substations. So actually, you know what, let's rip that up first. This is why we make our, this is why we prototype it now. We don't want to be doing this and then our laser turrets are done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So this is unfortunately going to need a couple more substations. Uh, actually just like plug in a little bit higher, like up here. I actually can. I can actually do this, and then we can plug it in like this. There you go, that works out. And it's unfortunately, unfortunately means on this side it's gonna have to be plugged into. I'm just gonna hook this in differently. Man oh man. This is why I should never be trusted with nuclear power. Actually, we this did not even need to be so low, but I don't think it actually it does kind of matter. So uh, let's, let's just put that back up there actually. Cause we only really want it to, to touch the steam turbines, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, just, I just don't know, man. All right, that's, that's good. I, I'm hoping this is enough. So how much, how much is this right now? So we need 96 per area, right? And this is what, 21? So this is gonna be 22. And some other number. All right. It is entirely possible that we actually need more space above it, which actually is probably the case because this is only it's 96 steam turbines. So, all right. I swear to God, you fucking bots. Just put them, put them in there. All right. So I like this setup so far. That was a good idea. Uh, but yeah. 
You guys go away. So th this is this is this was a good idea. Uh, let's just let's just start off with that, um, and then work out the rest. So the stone is I, I don't know what the fuck to do about the stone. Stone should realistically go somewhere else, like maybe onto the main bus from the bottom, but I can't really make it do that, can I? I make it go up and then down. The thing is, like, it's like there's an iron bus which is in the way now, uh, but I can get rid of that pretty easily. And obviously, there's this stupid steel chest with this stuff. Which just is a ginormous problem as well. I'm removing all of that and putting it over there. Uh, but uh, as I said, one step at a time, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day. Either was my reactor setup. Which means that I, I actually may have to wait for this all to go first. And actually, you know what? I just realized that this is actually c contributing to the problem now. Alright. So this should get most of it. Because I realize it's now it's adding more to the line that I'm trying to move over here. Alright, anyways, um so on that note, I guess we can work I guess we can start work on some artillery stuff, but like this is kind of how I, let me just blueprint this so I, I have it basically done. So yeah, this is the fifty six heat exchangers that we kinda need. So we blueprinted this guy. Um nice. Need to delete some of this stuff. Just to clean up my inventory. Fortunately, you gotta like make a blueprint of something, and then you gotta then you then you have to delete it. It's uh, kind of weird how that works out. Uh, okay, that's my actual setup. This we don't need. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to make a box of this stuff. Why am I stuck in here? All right, put, you guys put in that box. All right, let me let me have a look here. Is there any kind of yeah? Once once again, this is the problematic science. It's only because of all the production uh, modules I have for it. So let me just uh, get my bots over here. Hey, buddies, hey, you guys need to stop doing that. So we're trying to rush the high tech science. Okay, you know why do I even need need to babysit them? I really don't. Um. What I need is I need to extend this line more to the left. By a significant margin, actually. Uh, so how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, let's just do that. I, I don't have exact numbers for this stuff, but yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I'm just gonna copy and paste this shit. Basically double it because it's so it's so slow right now. All right. Work same as before. We're gonna have to get modules for that. Kind of figure at some point that would be something I need to work on. Well, not really working on it, but yeah. There you go. More high tech science. Not ex not precise numbers by any stretch of the imagination, and I acknowledge that. I I don't I don't know what numbers to do with productivity models. I really don't. It's not that I'm lazy, but I'm, I guess I'm lazy. Whatever. Sue me. Uh, all right, so let's try this again. So as far down here as possible, maybe maybe a bit further down. I don't know. That could be nice, but how 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 much space do I have before? I guess I guess we really should give it as much space as humanly possible. So let's go. Be generous and kind, and uh, actually, you know, what? let's just remove this because uh, we don't actually need this. All 
All right, so it's not really gonna ever come down here. This is just me trying to figure out the best way of handling this. Fuck. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick this all up. Yeah, fuck. Butts, help me out. All right. So where's my, yeah, my player, my inventory's full? You don't say. It could be, it could be all this, these stone bricks I just picked up. Yeah, okay. And the rest can go in the car. You know, part of me just wants to pick them all up, because that's what I used to do, and it, it now bothers me. Alright, so this is as far down as this can go. So, if this doesn't do it, nothing will. This is pretty much the end game for us right now. For our steam turbines and stuff. But yes, there's a lot of fucking steam turbines that we need. Way too many, if you ask me. Oh right, yeah, they're starting to repair. They all come out at weird times. I mean, we could have another RoboPort too, too, because we're building someone. Actually, that's a really good idea. That's actually the finest idea I've ever heard. We need another robe port. I don't know why I have these shitty ass lasers. Fuck, I don't need speed module. Fuck it, we're just gonna take the speed modules too, fine. It's fucking worthless. What do we even use them for? Oh shit, not for that. Take a fuck, really? I actually hate speed modules so much. There you go. Now they'll never need speed modules again. All right, uh, I just want to get the box over here. Holy shit, it's a lot of stuff. All right, all right, it's looking kind of good now. Uh, I know it's complaining it's not plugged in, but I mean, I'll just deal with that. Cause like I said, we're gonna go for very little downtime. So, I mean, these are gonna be fueled up. Um, I mean, I mean, like I said, this is not going to happen for like an episode or two, because I think as soon as we get to it, we're going to fuck around with that for a bit. Um, but we're like, it didn't, it doesn't mean it's not a good idea not to plan this out right now, um, and just have like the layout hooked up. So what was it? Ninety six, uh, ninety six steam turbines per side, sure. Uh, and I had somewhere here these guys. There we go. All right, so I I don't think I need to tell you guys. Don't try us at home. Like if you see a nuclear reactor, tell your mother. Tell your mother because that's that's how. As I said, this is how nuclear disasters happen. Do not attempt to rewire them in some weird ass fashion. Because of the fact that it's ninety six, I, I I was very optimistic about how it was going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten. I mean, we'll keep, maybe we can fit one more there. Okay, so twelve. All right, so let's see how that works out. We copy and paste that a couple times. How many? How many more substations can we have? We need steel plates though for that. We get some of those really fast. You can now actually see my game is like struggling to save now. Like, do I have to? I don't want to go to work this morning. Uh, all right, and then we can go. Since this supported three, we can make another three here. Actually, easily support all of these. Uh, and then we can have some big, big power poles here somewhere. Like right down here. Alright, let's see how many this is. Yeah, it's complaining it's not it's not complaining it's not powered because this nuclear reactor obviously isn't fired up. Uh, this is now 72 steam turbines, so we're almost there actually. Uh, we're very close. I didn't actually think about that. This is a lot of fucking steam turbines. Holy shit. Alright, um same deal as before. This is like, what, 12 of them? Yeah, this is 12. I actually don't have enough. 
Um, but that's that's not on that's on me. This is ninety six right now. Really? What if I do? What if I? What if I cancel these? Okay. Now how many is it? Uh, Cause I what do I currently have hooked into my system right now? Actually, we have one hundred four steam turbines here. Cause I kind of worked it out in such a way where we wouldn't actually have to hook in anything else. I need to double check my math now. Uh, ninety. Oh, we need ninety seven steam turbines for each one. Oh no no yeah yeah. 90, it's like ninety six ninety seven. Yeah that's fine. All right. So how much does this count as right now? This is 89. So if we have 97, then we're all good. Unfortunately, I've got to unhook some steam turbines, it would appear. Just temporarily. Just give me these ones. I mean, the smart thing to do would be to ghost it, but yeah. Instead of just removing it from the network. But I, nobody ever said I was a smart man. Alright, so... This is 10 more, and we currently have hooked up to this 89. So we need just... We need about 8 more. So I have 10 with me, so let me just uh, let me just remove these, actually. I'm going to put 2 back over here. Uh, there you go. Alright. We're almost done. Almost done. Yeah, that's basically it. It can't really hook. This really can't support anymore. I think this is our setup right here. Um, although I could get like another side going here and then hook in a bunch over there. Yeah, we can maybe do that instead. These are the small little intricacies that we figure out sooner rather than later. Why? Oh, really? You do need this one, huh? All right, there you go. Probably could do something a little bit different with this, but you know, it, it looks like it's working out. All right. Uh, out is one side of a nuclear reactor. If we look at this, this is uh, this is 97 steam turbines. Yeah, this is the exact ratio that we need. Uh, I, I see some stuff here. So this should be it. This should be it. Uh, this should be the, the, the exact ratio that we need, so. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. Oops, I did not save it. That would be not the funnest thing to happen to me today if I did not save that, because I just spent a bunch of time on this. All right, so we will do this once this moves away, and then all, all I'm going to do is just kind of copy and paste it kind of like right there. And then we, hook, and then we have to hook in the water extremely quickly uh, to it. How the fuck did I get trapped over? Oh, because you can actually move. How can you move in between heat exchangers? They're connected. Whatever. Okay, this is. Uh, I'm sorry to be whiny, but yeah, uh, that didn't make much sense to me. Um, all right. So now that that's done with, let's just remove some of this crap here. I really hate having this because I was using it to measure before, and I probably there's a better way of you know pressing buttons for this. Uh. We don't need this one. We don't need that one. I wish there was like temporary blueprinting, which there probably is. Or maybe there isn't. Alright, so this is going to be our grand uh, solution here. And trust me, we'll do plenty of saves. What is the problem? What, what is the malfunction with uh, blue chips right now? Not enough blue chips, probably not enough. Oh, you know what I was doing? I was, I was eating like copper off the line for like the longest time. Thing is, the copper is not gonna last forever either, but like this is just the nature of things. Um, all right, so artillery, what do we need for artillery? Uh, so the way again, we'll construct by hand. It's the artillery shell we're mostly concerned about. 
So it takes 15 seconds to make it with explosives, radar, and explosive cannon shell. Okay. Um, it needs a radar too. Reach artillery shell. It's crazy. All right, so it takes 15 seconds to make one. I like to have like maybe two made every once in a while. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me let me see where the where's the explosive shells. I don't even have explosive rockets actually. Um, did I not research that? I thought I'd get it somewhere. I guess I didn't have it. All right. Well, let's just do that real quick, just so I can get that out of the way. What does this need? Every eight seconds, it makes uh, with a rocket and two explosives. So, oh, how much did it need again? Uh, fuck, nah, we're not doing atomic bombs. Atomic bombs are actually garbage in this game, believe it or not. Um, so four explosive shells. So it just needs like two machines. Oh wait, wait, cannon shells. Oh, that's different actually. Uh, whoops, I may I, I may have dropped the ball on that. Sorry, I, I thought it was a rocket. Of course not, it's artillery. Um, where's the, the cannon shells? Fuck, we still don't actually have those. Cannon shells. Tanks, here they are. Every eight seconds, four plastic bar, four steel plates, two explosives. But it does a, it, yeah, so we essentially need so to make to make this dream not a meme, we need two explosive shell making items. Um, oh god, it needs explosives too. All right, well that's that's gonna be interesting. That will be quite the trick. All right, so we're gonna get into big boom booms. Uh, yeah, this is this is actually what I want to be doing. Like the Chernobyl will have to wait. Um, because we gotta wait for that to clear out here. It's doing its job, but uh, it doesn't know where to put it. Chernobyl will happen. I I I, I hate to spoil it uh, or like to to delay it, but we we simply must wait for this to go away. Otherwise, it can't build up. This has to be cleared. But it looks like there's going to be plenty of space, though, on both sides. And then, like, I just mirror it, and then we do the exact same thing again. So it should be really easy to do. And then we just fire up as many reactors as we want. Uh, I did say I was going to make another Roboport, wasn't I? We need advanced circuits for that. You guys all good? Yeah. Maybe just like, maybe instead of the two lasers, we put in two more roboports. How's that sound? That sounds fucking amazing. I love roboports. But we need like a crap ton of batteries and stuff for this. For some reason this isn't building? I don't know. Um, yeah. What, what do we, what else do we need for this? Steel plates. Oh, that's easy to get. It's right down here. All right. I need to get rid of some of these uranium too. All right, what was I gonna build? Oh yeah, that's right, rockets. Fucking hell, rockets, man. The things I do. Seriously? It's like one just being a non-conformist and not going on the belt. All right. So, explosives uh, requires, um, I mean, not that much, but enough. Uh, it needs sulfur, coal, and water. So, luckily we have a coal line, uh, and we have water. Uh, so, I, I think the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this, uh, this belt, coal belt faster. Not that much faster, but faster enough. Oh, and at some point I undergrounded it for some reason. And I had to split it off here too. Alright. I don't know what I did with half of this, but... Fuck. I, I, I see these things in random places and it confuses the fuck out of me because I, I, I'm terrible at making factories. And I know it's my own fucking fault, by the way. 
Don't don't even like I'm not even justifying it. I know it's my fault, but you know. That's why you probably don't do buses like this. Alright. That's pretty good. How's the coal line doing, by the way? We haven't actually looked at that in a very long time. I mean it's doing its job. It's blue belted over and then comes over here and gets red belted. Alright, so. Uh, we're gonna make the explosives like right here, uh, because, uh, well, we're gonna make basically everything right here, because we're gonna load up an artillery train somewhere there, um, or we could do it like right here. No, no, right here is okay. Um, so, we're, I mean, we're running out of space in the factory, but fuck it. I mean, we'll, we'll be fine, trust me, I've, 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 I've done the end game. I think there's enough space. Alright, so, I'm kind of waiting for the tanks to finish. So, I'm gonna say that... We need to have um, the easiest way to kind of work this out. Yeah, we're not, by the way, making a tank because tanks uh, tanks are trash. Um, the tanks are actually incredibly boring in this game, uh, believe it or not. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll still make one and show you. Like, I'm a nice guy, but, you know. Uh, yeah, so what we want to do is we want to have artillery shells. Uh, so it needs four explosive cannon shells. So that means two machines feeding that, then eight explosives, and then one radar. Uh, that's all simple stuff. Um, I'm not sure how many explosives we're going to need in total, but it's a lot. I can already tell. Um, so let's let's get this party started by first of all making the place where where the artillery train will uh, refuel or whatever. 